Hey fam, I'm on a little early, just trying out something real quick. So just pop on in when you are ready. Pop on in. And yeah, just trying to make some things happen before we get started. I think I got it. Awesome. Let's get these comments going. Let's get some recording going. It is two o'clock. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, fam? It's Tuesdays with Tawana. Yeah, I am in the building. Yes, a change in time, Bobby. Thank you for joining. Appreciate it. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, we are live on Facebook. We are recording for our podcast. We are recording for YouTube. We are building community one broadcast at a time. And while I'm at it, let me just let y'all know. I'm rooting for everybody black. Georgia, stand up. Uh, Mama Lovey, always good to see you. Yes, from the mile high. I was just talking with a beloved today saying, as soon as it's free and clear and safe to travel, the first places I'm going, New York to Denver to LA. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know I love to travel. Love to travel. What's up, Tony? What's up, my beautiful sister? Love you dearly. Hey, Mother Carolyn. Good to see ya in the building. Yeah, yeah. You loving the shirt? You loving the shirt? Yeah, because I'm rooting for everybody black. Ain't, ain't nobody else rooting for us. So we got to do it for ourselves, right? We got to make this happen. So, you know, I'm in the building. It's Rev T. It's Tawana, your host and your curator. Y'all know how this goes. You, you know, build some dialogue in the comment. Comments will engage. We'll, we'll talk about whatever it is you want to talk about and we that's how we build community this is just not about me talking for a solid 30 minutes it is about us um, inserting other thoughts and other narratives into the conversation while centering black lives and black experiences right hey cordio my little buttercup what's going on so that's one thing I want to start with, you know, the, the work that I do, the work that we do with Soul to Soul, the work that I do with uh, Breast Cancer Awareness, with Stomp Out Breast Cancer Foundation, or uh, Domestic Violence Awareness, um, I, I center, I'm a black woman, and, and I only know how to show up as a black woman. Um, my experience, my culture, my practices spiritual practices, um, family traditions, rituals, all of that, I'm centering this black woman. And it does not mean that I am trying to create another elitist norm to disregard or dismiss or degrade others if you are non-black. But right now in this moment, <laughs> I will center black women the black diaspora, that experience, black women, black, black men, black beloveds, centering that. We all have something to learn. We all have something to share. So our, our overarching topic for today is, um, do we just throw it all away? So that, that can be, that can really manifest in many different ways right? So 2020, do we throw it all away? For me, no, because I've been teaching and preaching and sharing, and we've been engaging in conversation about um, the good that comes out of our challenges, the, the good that has come out of my diagnosis, the good that comes out of the storms that we, the physical 
storms that we may experience and how it can be a clearing so we could see clearer. Um, some things are moved out of our way so that we can do things differently and have better vision. And we were all preaching and talking and excited about 2020. Yeah, it's going to be my year, clear vision, clearing out some stuff. We didn't know it was going to be like this. Right. So sometimes, you know, some things will happen, but do we just throw it all away? And I offer to you today this word called discernment. D-I-S-C-E-R-N-M-E-N-T. Discernment. So we got to think about not using this broad brush to say when things are jacked up and they've been jacked up for a long time that we just throw it all away. For instance, I was watching The View this morning and Michael J. Fox was on The View and it brought me to tears. Not that I felt sorry for him. Um, there was this, this curiosity, this connection that I was making with him, with his struggle. And he's always been, at, for, for what I've known and, and how he has shown up publicly, he has always been an optimist. And his new book, his best selling book, um, is, you know, he's called, they call it a cranky book because he's not okay and he is frustrated. Like he has Parkinson's. And then something happened in his home where he fell and shattered his arm and he had like a WTF moment. Like, I don't feel any optimism right now. Like, th when is this going to stop? And we do have those moments. And it does not negate the 30 plus years of marriage with his wife, his four children, you know, his public uh, speaking out for Parkinson awareness, his t TV success, movie, movie success. So we don't just throw everything away, right? We have to discern what we hold on to. And this is the beauty about being black because we insert this narrative of what we call Sankofa, go back and fetch it. And the bird, the, 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 um, the communicator, um, some call it a symbol, but the communicator is a bird looking back with an egg in its mouth. And the egg represents something that's giving life, new life or something that already exists that's giving life. So we have to discern what we are going back to fetch. Not only do we have this beautiful Sankofa moment as the black diaspora, we also have this Ubuntu, Ubuntu moment. U B U N T U, right? This Ubuntu moment where I am because you are, you are, therefore I am. So when you have a WTF moment, I'm having a WTF moment because I'm not good if my beloved is not good. So what can we do together without throwing it all away? Or if I make a mistake, in white dominant culture, it says that you are the mistake. In our black diaspora, we say, baby, you've made a mistake. What have you, what opportunity do you have to learn from it? Where you don't have to walk around with guilt and shame and you don't have to live and walk with your head held down low, that you can hold your head high and say, yes, these were the decisions that I've made with the information that I had before me. And now I know better. So I commit to doing better discernment, discerning what's giving me life, discerning what's good for me, discerning what's going to build me up and not tear me down. Or there are times when you things need to be torn down in your life only to be rebuilt with new material and new tools and new circles and new villages and new tribes and new people in your world to share with you. Right? I, <laughs> Mama Lovey said, where do you get all of these great shirts? Listen, I was just talking to Mama, <laughs> Mother Carolyn the other day, and I said, I'm going to have to stop buying shirts. It's, it's, it's almost sick. Like, <laughs> I find shirts, and Mama Lovey, I just find the shirts. So for those of you who will listen later and not actually watch this, I'm wearing a shirt. I'm rooting for everybody black, and it's actually 
what Issa Rae said. Can let me see. Issa Rae, there it is. Issa Rae said during one of the um, award shows. So I keep buying shirts because I love t-shirts. Even when I used to preach, I didn't preach many times in the traditional garb, if you will. I, I wore statement shirts. That's, that's just who I am. So for the